Hey, what's up guys, Steven here. Welcome back to another video and today we are upgrading my gaming setup. Now, you may know the brand Cherry. Cherry was famous for keyboards and other um, accessories, but now they're going one step further and they developed a USB streaming microphone. And this is a pretty high-end microphone targeted for gamers and streamers and it even comes with RGB light. So today in this video, we'll check out how good it really is and we'll upgrade the setup and also there will be a full sound test of this microphone. So let's go and let's check it out. All right, and here it is. So this is the new Cherry microphone. It's the UM. 9.0 Pro with RGB. Now before we unpack it, maybe let's have a closer look at the specifications. Now it comes with a sample rate of 192 kilohertz, so that's actually on um, like more high-end microphones. Now bit rate 24 bits, um, the frequency range is from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, so it covers basically the full human hearing spectrum. The maximum SPL is 122 decibels, so it can handle also very loud signals, so we'll test it uh, of course later. Then it has also touch controls, um, there's also a control for the gain, headphone volume, RGB lightning of course, connection is USB-C and it weighs 555 grams, so that's a pretty big microphone. Now the coolest thing about it is, is actually that you can use it on the computer, but also you can use it plug and play on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Next to my computer, I have my water-cooled PlayStation 5 and I also plan to stream from this console. So this is a really nice addition for the setup and I'm really excited to try it out. All right, so let's unpack the microphone and let's check out how it looks. All right, let's go. Um, let's check out how it looks. Well, it comes already with a table stand. So if you just want to use it um, on the table, um, you don't need the extra arm, but also Cherry sent us an extra arm for testing. And this is basically to mount it on the table and you can move it around, which is really convenient. And yeah, let's get it out of the box. And it looks pretty cool. All right, so inside of the box, there was the microphone already pre-assembled. Um, you can see this spider web right over here. So this is basically for decoupling, so vibration damping, and it looks pretty solid. And there's also a type C cable included. This is basically to connect it to the computer. All right, but we're not finished yet. There is also an additional pop filter. So um, this is the Cherry UM pop filter and you really want to have one because um, especially when I'm doing voiceovers, I'm usually very close to the microphone. And if you're talking um, and you say something like P or some words with P, then there's a lot of air coming from your mouth. And if you don't have a pop filter, it goes directly to your microphone and makes those pop noises. And with the pop filter, you can actually prevent that. So let's open it up, let's check it out. All right, there's the pop filter and it looks like pretty decent quality. It also comes with a metal mesh, as you can see, so no textile or something. Now to attach it to the microphone, there's a little screw here in the middle of the microphone. So you just remove that. And with that, you can um, fix the pop filter here directly on the microphone. So this is pretty simple, pretty easy and gets the job done. All right, but we are still not finished because we also have the Cherry MA 6.0 UNI USB arm. And the cool thing about this arm is that it's not just a simple mechanical arm. It also acts as a USB extension. And um, I think it even comes with two USB ports. So it's basically a USB hub. So let's open it up and let's have a closer look. So let's open it up. And I'm actually really excited about this arm because I had always those, you know, cheap mechanical arms from Amazon or somewhere and they never had a USB extension. So having the cable around the arm was always not very clean. And let's see how this one here works. Wow, so this is looking pretty sick. Now, as you can see, it comes already with a USB cable. So this goes to your computer while you have somewhere here at the top two USB ports. So even you could attach something else to it. And wow, that looks pretty neat. And of course, there's also the table clamp included. So basically with this, you clamp it to the table. What's pretty nice is this is a full metal unibody um, clamp, as I can see. Now, some of the cheap clamps, they are made out of plastic and they break after some time, especially if you have a heavy microphone. So from the build quality of this arm, I'm actually quite surprised. This looks really decent. And let's check out what we have in here. All right, didn't expect that. And there is a bunch of USB cables. Um, there is mini USB, micro USB, type C, and 
I don't know what's that, those old printer cables. Anyhow, um, that's what you can find inside of the box. And now let's go, let's mount it, and then let's try out the microphone. So, well, I'll show you now a little bit of my gaming setup. So come over here. Now, um, the problem is my desk is already really full, but I need some solution for the microphone. Well, I have here my computer. Um, here is actually the Vortical PlayStation 5. And um, I also want a simple solution to connect the microphone to the PlayStation and to the computer. So my idea was actually to mount this here in the back there. And as you can see, um, this arm is actually quite cool because um, you can also angle um, here the mount which goes to the table. And here in the middle, you can also adjust it. So you can really adjust it to your needs however you want to. But now for the test, I think we'll just mount it here in the left corner and maybe later I will arrange it. So let's go, let's mount here um, the arm and then let's see how we connect it to the computer and to the PlayStation. All right, we came up with another solution, which is actually quite genius. I had those cable holes here in my desk and um, this clamp here fits right through it. So we'll now just fix it down here and then I can easily mount the microphone here. So I'll just go under the table and clamp this thing. <laughs> so well, um, it's now here and this is pretty tight. Um, now let's put in here the microphone arm and damn, this is going to be perfect. This is the perfect solution. So I can actually leave it now like this up. If I don't use it, I see the whole screen. And if I need to record something, it goes directly to the front. This is perfect. So now it's time to mount it on the arm. And this is pretty simple. So you just remove that stand. Um, it still stays in that spider web. So this is for decoupling and don't remove that. Make sure you remove the screw here. And now um, there is an adapter actually. So um, there are some microphones that have a bigger thread, but um, then you need this adapter, so don't throw it away. For this microphone, as you can see, you have to remove the adapter and then you can just screw it here on top. And there we go. Well, now I understand why there are so many cables included. So this arm, you can use it, of course, with any other microphone, not only the Cherry microphone, and that's why it comes with different cables. But um, for the Cherry microphone, for the UM9, we um, need the Type-C cable. And this is a short cable, as you can see, um, which just plugs into the microphone, and the other end goes into the arm. So basically, um, there are even two USB ports. You could still attach something else to it. And then um, the arm has another USB cable coming out of it. And this goes to your computer. So this is a really clean solution. If you look at this, there is no cable around the arm. And if I don't need the microphone, I can just simply store it away like this. And it looks super clean without any visible cables, except of the small cable that goes from the microphone to the arm. Well, the microphone is now connected to the computer. It's completely plug and play. You don't need to install any drivers. It's detected as microphone and you can start straight away to use it, configure it in, your, in OBS or whatever software you're using. Now, um, the RGB light looks pretty cool. So that looks absolutely amazing and it's a real eye catcher. And of course you can change the color, but just in case you don't want to have the, that RGB light, you can also turn it off um, by simply holding the button for three seconds. If you hold it for three seconds again, it turns back on and you have multiple colors right over here. So there's purple, there is pink, there's red, there is yellow, and then there is um, this color changing oscillating thing here. So this basically cycles through the colors and then it goes back to green, this kind of blue and then purple again, um, pink, and that are basically all the colors you can have um, here on the microphone. All right, um, that's regarding the RGB light, but it doesn't stop here. So it has a lot of features. And the next thing we have to check out are those touch buttons and the mute button right over here. Now here at the bottom, or actually the top of the microphone, there are some really useful things. And first of all, here we have the mute button. So this is a touch um, capacitive button. If you just tap it, it mutes the microphone. With the RGB light, it's pretty amazing because it turns to red. When you see at one look, okay, the microphone is muted. So you cannot forget to turn it off, um, which can be, you know, sometimes a little bit dangerous in the stream. Um, and if you tap it again, it just changes back to the color you set it before and you're ready to go. 
Now, um, you can also change the characteristics of the microphone. So if there's one dot to the front, then it's using the cardioid um, characteristics, which is basically just to the front, nothing else around you. Then um, here we have the bi-directional mode. Now this is really useful if you're doing an interview, if there is a person on the other side of the table and you're talking both into the same microphone. Now also for podcasts, if you have a guest, this is a very useful mode. Then here we have the stereo mode. For instance, if there are two persons, you sit on one side of the table, then this really makes sense. And last but not least, we have the omnidirectional mode. So this is basically in all directions. And this can be really useful if you want to, um, for instance, have a group around the table and you want to do some interview podcast or whatever. Or of course, if you want to record the ambient around you and you really want that the microphone is picking up everything around you. But now it's time to test out the sound quality to find out how good this microphone really is. So here's the sound test. Now this voiceover is recorded with the UM 9.0 Pro RGB, but this is not the only microphone that Cherry has released. There's also the UM 3.0 and the UM 6.0 Advanced. The UM 3.0 delivers a scanning rate of 96 kHz and 24 bits and is designed for single person use through its directional cardioid capsule. It is perfect for use at home and provides clear sound during video conferences. The Cherry UM 3.0 is also suited for recording podcasts, voiceovers or musical instruments. The UM 6.0 Advanced offers a choice between cardioid and omnidirectional polar patterns with a scanning rate of 96 kHz and 24 bits. Depending on the user's preference, it can record from one direction or from all around the room. Now the Cherry UM 6.0 Advanced is a professional recording solution that is easy to transport and ready to use. But then we come to the UM 9.0 Pro RGB and this is the microphone for anyone who wants to get the most out of the recordings with a scanning rate of 192 kHz and 24 bits. You can switch between the cardioid, omnidirectional, bidirectional and stereo polar patterns with just one touch of a button and it's also perfect for streaming. Now all of those USB microphones of the UM series are delivered with a sturdy metal stand. They also can be muted directly via a touch control panel on the surface of the microphone and they are equipped with an integrated headphone jack and are plug and play compatible with PC, Mac, PS4 as well as PS5 without any configuration needed. So it was a no brainer to use the UM 9.0 for my streaming setup and we rebuilt the PC and upgraded the processor with a new water cooling, also wired up the water cooled PS5 of the streaming setup and this microphone can be used regardless if I stream from the PC or the PS5. So this is really the perfect choice. The sound quality as you probably hear right now is pretty good. However, the pop filter is really needed. Without the pop filter, you will end up with a lot of unwanted pop sounds as this microphone really picks up everything. Now let me know what you think about the sound quality down below, but I personally think it's really one of the best streaming microphones I've used so far. So guys, we're now here at the end of this review of the Cherry UM 9.0 Pro RGB. And well, this is a microphone targeted for gamers and streamers. You can see the RGB lights, but there are also different versions of um, the Cherry microphones. There is the UM 6.0. This is basically a streaming and office microphone. And there's also the entry level UM 3.0. So if you want to check it out, I will also leave you some links down below in the description. My personal opinion, I'm really surprised by this product, of course, I knew Cherry before, but I didn't expect that they would come up with microphones that are really decent quality. Um, the build quality of this microphone arm is really outstanding. Also, the sound quality of the microphone is really good. Overall, so far from my test, I can absolutely recommend it. And if you want to check it out, links are down below. And now it's your turn. Let me know your opinion down below in the comments. As always, guys, I'm Steven from Tech Magnet, and I'm signing out. Have a nice day and bye.